Welcome to Terry's Kitchen, where we talk food, faith, and family. Today I am preparing a meatball sub for us to have for dinner. But before we get started with that, I'd like to read out of the Message Bible, Psalm 70. God, please hurry to my rescue. God, come quickly to my side. Those who are out to get me, let them fall all over themselves. Those who relish my downfall, send them down a blind alley. Give them a taste of their own medicine, those gossips off clucking their tongues. Let those on the hunt for you sing and celebrate. Let all who love your saving way say over and over, God is mighty. But I've lost it, I'm wasted. God, quickly, quickly. Quick to my side, quick to my rescue. God, don't lose a minute. Ah, oh, that, that is true. Thank you, dear Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for coming to our rescue anytime that we've got something going on that you are, you are by our side. And we thank you and we just give you all the glory for that. We thank you, Lord, for this day. All those that are watching this video, a special blessing goes out to them. We thank you, Lord, that you are by our side and taking care of us each and every moment of this day. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for letting me do that. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to get started. So a couple of videos ago, um, had made some um, homemade meatballs and with um, our friend Peg. And so we had frozen some. So, you know, what a great quick meal is to pop them in the crock pot. And we're going to have meatball subs this evening. So this is going to be a quick, short, easy video. And I'll show you how I make a meatball sub. So I have a sub roll. They're very soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it in half. Well, I'm going to open it up. Now, I don't want to slice it all the way through. And I'm just going to spread it here. And I'm just going to put it under the broiler to kind of toast that a little bit because our sauce is going to be nice and juicy with the meatballs and we want to be able to, um, for the, the bread to hold together. So let me put that in the broiler, under the broiler. Just a few seconds there. Need to keep tabs. I'm going to pop the lid off here, and again, this is a quick meal that we're going to have, and, and if you watch the video with the meatballs, we've got some large meatballs, so I'm going to have to cut those in half to put on our uh, sub roll. So, don't want it to get too toasted here. Okay, and I'm going to grab a knife here, so when I get the, the meatballs, and I need another plate. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and pull two of the meatballs out. They look so good. They smell wonderful. Let me check my bread. Oh. Watch your broiler because you don't want it to get too brown. So let me just put that over there. Don't need that. Well, yes, I am. So let me do something here. My lands all the fat over here. I'm gonna leave this on here because I need to put our cheese on there. So I've got the meatballs, and because they're so large, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those in half. Put it on the side. Ooh, they're hot. Now Ron usually likes pesto, but we didn't have a, um, a fresh jar of pesto. So, um, 
but you can put spread pesto on the bottom if you like pesto. We really enjoy it. So I'm going to put that to the side. Just you cannot go wrong with a little extra just Parmesan Romano. Just put that on top. I'm going to take a little bit of the sauce. Need a different spoon. Mercy. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little extra sauce on top of the meatballs. There we go. I thought it was going to be such a quick meal, I didn't do all my prep work beforehand. So this is a slice of mozzarella, that, and you can use provolone if you would prefer provolone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back under the broiler because I want that cheese to get nice and melted um, over those meatballs. So Ron, are you going to be ready for your meatball sub? Yes, I am. So let me keep tabs of that just so that gets nice and melted there. Alright, again, don't want to keep it in there too long. I'm going to bring this over. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slice it up here. She said she wanted to feed me unless I came on camera. I'll listen to you. <laughs> okay. See what you think. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be hot. It's very good. He's going in for a second bite, so it must be really good. So again, just a quick video. If you have the, the meatballs, make up some meatballs. And you want a quick meal, grab some uh, sub rolls, brown them a little bit under the broiler, add your meatballs, a little sauce, a little Parmesan, put some mozzarella or provolone cheese, put it under the broiler again, and you're all ready for dinner. Thank you so much for watching our videos, sharing, liking, and subscribing. We do appreciate it. Blessings.